the Fourier transform of R x x of tau existing. The inverse Fourier transform of x x s x x of omega will also exist. That is, if you know the R x x of tau, we can find the power spectral density. If you know the power spectral density, we can find the autocorrelation function. Now we see some important properties of power spectral density. It is also called as power density spectrum. Power spectral density, power density spectrum, simply the power density, all are the same. What this quantity indicates? The power spectral density indicates how the power of the random process is distributed as a function of frequency. So, first important property is the power spectral density is always positive. Why? Because we already know that limit t tends to infinity expectation of xt of omega divided by is the power spectral density. So, if you observe this, this quantity is always positive. If this quantity is positive, definitely the power spectral density, which is this quantity is equal to the power spectral density. Is it? Is it right? So, in order to satisfy this condition, we already studied the properties of the autocorrelation. There we mentioned the autocorrelation function should not have an arbitrary shape. The reason is this. The autocorrelation function has the arbitrary shape. Definitely, this S X X of omega will not be always positive. So, in order to satisfy this condition, why? Well, because this power spectral density is the Fourier transform of R X X of tau. So, if the R X X of tau have the arbitrary shape. This condition will not be satisfied. So, in order to satisfy this condition. The autocorrelation function must not have an arbitrary shape. That is the one property of the autocorrelation function that we already studied. And we already know that this is equivalent to Rx Is it right? This implies so this is another important property. What this indicates? The power spectral density at omega equivalent to zero equivalent to area under autocorrelation function. So, area under autocorrelation function is equivalent to power spectral density at omega equivalent to C. Autocorrelation is equivalent to the inverse Fourier transform of density. Don't get confused here. Okay. I return two pi f, which is equivalent to omega. See, expectation of x square of t is equivalent to zero. Is it right? Now let tau equivalent to zero here on both sides. Then what you will get? So, 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity so 
this indicates area under power spectral density divided by 2 pi is equal to the mean square value of the random process. Is it? See the relationship between the two, between the two properties. PST at omega equal to 0 is area under autocorrelation function. Autocorrelation at tau equal to 0 is equal to area under PST divided by 2 pi. This indicates if you know the autocorrelation function, we can find the power at omega equal to 0. What do you mean by omega equal to 0? That indicates the DC component. Is it? So therefore, the DC power of the random process can be obtained by finding the area under autocorrelation function. So the mean square value of the random process, which is equal to Rx of 0, that is equal to area under power spectral density divided by. So all these relations are very familiar to you. I think you might have studied all these relations okay, while dealing with the deterministic signals. Here we are dealing with the random signals because the random process itself is an example of the random signal. Is it? The power spectral density of a process is an even function of frequency. If Rxx of tau is how can you prove it? Consider this minus infinity to plus infinity autocorrelation e power minus j omega tau d. So this can also be written as minus omega which is equal to so minus infinity to plus infinity what a correlation so can I write this as minus infinity to plus infinity I think you already know the Fourier transformation, all the properties of the Fourier transformation. Is it clear? So what this indicates? So the Fourier transform of Rxx of tau is equal to Sx of minus omega. See, if the Fourier transform of x of t is x of omega, then the Fourier transform of x star of t is x of minus omega when x of t is real. Is it? When x of t is real, the Fourier transform of x of t is x of omega, Fourier transform of x star of t is x of minus omega. So therefore, minus infinity to plus infinity rx x of tau e power j omega tau d tau can also be written like this. So this is equivalent to Fourier transform of is it which is equivalent to Fourier transform of see if x of tau is real complex conjugate of that is equivalent to Now this is equivalent to 
is it clear? The power spectral density is an even function of omega. Otherwise, see instead of doing this, we take the conjugation on both sides. So again, you will get the same. Either way, can. Is it clear to you? So another important property is you let y of t is equal into dx of t dt. That is we are letting it as x dot of t. The derivative of the random process x of t with respect to time is equal into y of t. Then this S Y Y of omega that is the power spectral density of the random process Y of T is equal into omega square times power spectral density of the random process X of T. So this is the power spectral density of the random process X of T and this is the power spectral density of the random process Y of T where y of t is equal to dx of t dt. Then the PSTs of the two random process are related by this equation. Through this. The autocorrelation function of the random process x of t is given by rxx of tau find the power spectral density. So, this is the Rxx of tau evaluate the power spectral density. Find this. And one more problem. Of time, the mean square value of the random process x of t with power spectral density is xx of omega is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus omega square 2 divided by 1 plus omega square find the mean square value of the random process x of t with power spectral density 2 divided by 1 plus omega square what you have to find you have to find expectation of x square of that is nothing but so we already know that this is equal into area under is it right then you are valid to try to complete these two problems